Hello everybody from Front Reus, today is the 25th of April and I'm talking now about the uh, Narcissus uh, Clovelli Air. Uh, this uh, is a, a daffodil in the uh, group 9 of the daffodil classification that are the uh, Poeticus daffodil. It is a daffodil of medium height, the flowers can reach about in my case about 40 centimeters tall, some of them are held a little bit smaller and the, uh, this variety was raised by Ron A. Scamp in England, United Kingdom and registered in the 2008. Uh, the seed uh, parent is Corofin and the pollen parent is Lady Serena. Uh, the flowers can uh, be up to 9 centimeters across but in my case uh, are uh, a lot smaller, they are probably about uh, uh, 6 7 centimeters across. Uh, however, uh, the um, flower is, uh, uh, my, in my opinion, very beautiful. It is uh, kind of uh, roundish, uh, the uh, tepals uh, overlap on each other, and uh, um, the um, petals, uh, sorry, the tepals are white, while the corona is of this beautiful, very um, very bright yellow with a bright orange rim as well. Uh, this variety is um um, it's not advertised as scented, but uh, on dubsig.org, that is one of the probably the best websites about daffodils, is written uh, among the information that this variety is sweetly scented. In my opinion, it is. Uh, I can smell some kind of sweet scent, but the most of the notes are actually kind of peppery. Sorry, peppermint and licorice more than sweet. So it is a Poeticus variety that really resembles in fragrance many other Poeticus varieties. Uh, I don't particularly like this um, peppermint and uh, licorice uh, notes uh, because uh, they are accompanied with kind of pungent uh, sensation on my nose so definitely not uh, a daffodil that uh, I would recommend for fragrance uh, however I love of this daffodil uh, the color uh, I like uh, you know contrasting uh, color daffodil so this beautiful white uh, tepals and with, with this uh, bright uh, orange, uh, sorry, bright yellow with uh, orange rim is absolutely gorgeous, I believe. So I can definitely recommend this daffodil uh, for gardens, uh, for the beauty of its flowers, it's really gorgeous. However, for the scent, for the fragrance, uh, definitely look somewhere else because uh, it's not uh, a particularly uh, appealing fragrance, at least to me. If you like instead uh, peppermint and licorice uh, fragrance, uh, definitely this is uh, one daffodil that you might enjoy. Anyway, regardless what kind of fragrance you enjoy, I'm sure that uh, you will enjoy its beautiful flowers. I'm sorry that some of the tepals have been munched by slugs and snails and also as a curiosity I found that one of the flowers of this daffodil uh, opened up with a very weird green uh, pattern on the tepals. Uh, these uh, green spots on the tepals that uh, kind of uh, uh, resemble the green uh, at the base of the tepals. And this one as well as uh, this uh, green tinge on the on the flowers. So I'm not too sure uh, what happens uh, uh, on these flowers if uh, when they are starting opening they have this uh, very weird uh, green uh, tinge. It is quite uh, peculiar, uh, kind of appealing really. So I will uh, keep this spot even if I don't particularly like uh, the fragrance because uh, the these green spots and uh, green flush uh, or green flushes on the tepals are a kind of uh, curiosity for me. I never find found a daffodil with uh, with some bulbs have this kind of greenish pattern. Is uh, it is very weird, very very peculiar absolutely unusual and uh, actually quite appealing. So yes, 
I'm not really a great fan of the fragrance, so very rarely I keep daffodils that turn up not nicely fragrant, but this one I'm very intrigued by this green flush, so let's see what happens next year, if the green flushes stay or it was just due to the weird climate we had this year in Kent with the very cold winters and snow and uh, snow for a few days, but uh, yes, I will definitely uh, check out what happens uh, next year and maybe start uh, hybridizing this uh, daffodil just for uh, the weirdly, uh, yeah, the weirdly green tinged uh, flowers of some of the bulbs. Very peculiar. As usual, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, it would be great if you can please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video and the other videos on my channel, it would be great if you can please subscribe. It's completely free for you. But in this way, uh, you get a knowledge YouTube that you like uh, my videos and my channel. And YouTube, in turn, can support me and promote my channel on the platform. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.